Hello, my lovely losers. How are y'all doing? Have you had a good week? I hope so. Christmas is fast approaching. Only a couple more wins before uh, the big day. So, uh, how have I been doing? Um, I've been doing really well. I've really got my head back in the zone, following the plan, and really just, I've been running off my feet. That's why this video is so late today. I've been running off my feet all day, waiting, been shopping, and grocery shopping, and everything. Oh, just got back, just had some tea. Um, went out for lunch today. <clears throat> I wasn't going to go out for lunch today, but um, it was part of my birthday gift. It was belated. Um, I went to the ballet with my mum for my birthday, but that was in November. My birthday was actually in September, but the ballet was in November. And we were supposed to go out for a meal as well, but the timings weren't great. So she took me out for lunch today. And I was going to say no and say, no, can we do it after Christmas? But I thought, no, I am going to go. I was on plan. I had steak. Mm. Oh, well done steak. It was beautifully cooked. Absolutely gorgeous. With um, <clears throat> potatoes and veg. And there was a little bit of like side salad garnish as well. Um, <clears throat> and brilliant. I was allowing myself like five cents or so for any oil used in cooking. I didn't realise that the veg would come with um, cheese melted on top, um, but it was only a very small amount, so I'm counting that as my healthy aid for today because I hadn't used, I'd only used a little bit of milk in the morning. So that was fine. Um, and I've had, that kept me really filled up because it was a beautiful, beautiful meal. That kept me all filled up and I just had broth for my, my dinner just now, for my tea. So 100% um, on plan again. Um, I've had a little mini chocolate bar that was worth five cents as well as a treat. So it's ten cents I've used today. So I still have a few later on if I fancy a hot chocolate or something. That's absolutely fine, but I don't have to. I can take it or leave it. I feel pretty good about that. Can you see that? I can take it or leave it. I don't have to use all my cents. I can, but I don't have to. I'm in a good place. I'm in a good head space at the minute. And oh, my hair is... And a very good head, so it's really white now, you might notice, because last year, last week it was blonde. Uh, this week it's, it's white. I'm playing a Christmas tree fairy, and I'm going to put hair chalks red and green through my hair, but I think I might leave it just white some, some of the days as well. It looks like snowy hair. I think I might keep it like this permanently, I really like it. Um, <clears throat> so this week I have loads of rehearsals, I'm rehearsing like all week. I think it's the last week before the show starts. God, look, I've got a really pink eye. Look at that. Really bloodshot. I don't know what I've done. I hope I'm not getting an eye infection. Um, a week on Sunday is the first show, and we actually have two shows that day. Um, so it's going to be a really busy week, but that's no excuse to go off plan. Everything is A-OK. -okay. I have my meals planned out, everything. I went and got the, the latest issue of the Slimming World magazine today as well. It has a fakeaway booklet on the front, so I'm having a look through that and seeing if I fancy some of the ideas. Good stuff. I also have a lot of um, ready-made meals that I, that I made myself and portioned up and put in the freezer. So I've got them ready to go as well, which is really good. So I'm all sorted. But uh, yes, back to this week. Yeah, I did really well this week. Another pound and a half off. I'm feeling really good about that. I'm still wondering what I have to do to lose two pounds in a week. But uh, a pound and a half is really good. I'm very happy with that. I'm not going to reach my first interim target by the new year. I'm currently £9 short of that and there are three weigh-ins between now and new year. And I'm not going to lose £3 a week. <laughs> That's just not going to happen. I can try as hard as I like. I'm not going to lose £3 a week. But I'm happy with the idea that I may well lose like four and a half, five pounds in that time. And then by the end of January, hit that first interim target. The fact is, if I keep going the way I'm going, I'll hit my target sometime in the summer. And I'm very happy with that. That'd be good. And uh, <clears throat> I mean, if I really push it, there's a possibility I could reach it at Easter when I'm doing panto. I'm playing Puss in a production of Puss in Boots. And it would be really nice to be a nice, sleek Puss instead of a tubby tabby. <laughs> That would be, a, I'm really, I'm aiming for that. I want to get as close to my target as possible by Easter. I know that the actual likelihood of me reaching my target by that point is, is quite low, but I'd like to get as close as possible between now and then. And <clears throat> I have a food log all ready to go, all set out for like the first three months of the year. The whole book is taken up. It's all set out with a daily log. One of my 
uh, personal challenges next year is to keep a food log every single day. So I have a permanent log of what I've eaten, when I've eaten, and have it 100% honest so that I know when I've had a good week, that's what I did that week. And I'll write down things like exercise and uh, circumstances of each day as well, if I was hormonal or if I if it was shark week or if I was ill that week or that day or whatever. I'll put all that in as well. So I have a permanent record of exactly what was going on and what happened on any given date. So that when I say, yeah, I had I had like a, a two and a half pound loss that week. What did I do that week that was different, that was good? And I can go back and replicate it, ostensibly. Oh, I can hear shouting downstairs. The kids are going mental. <laughs> um, so this is a good thing. I'm, uh, I'm feeling really positive and very, very motivated. Christmas is fast approaching and... I'm not going to go off the rails. I'm going to have one relaxed day on Christmas Day. I say relaxed, but it'll be things like, you know, Christmas dinner is pretty much, you know, free foods anyway. You've got your, your meat, your veg, that's all free. I'm going to have sin-free gravy. I am going to have a little bit of scurly, which is Scottish oatmeal stuffing, which is sins. And I am going to have some chestnuts, but I suppose that could be um, my healthy beef of the day. That's fine. I'm not bothered about pigs and blankets. I can I can look at that pigs and blankets, that's fine. Um, <clears throat> a little dollop of cranberry sauce. Um, the Christmas pudding is going to be the big deal. I've got a little individual one, a little tiny one, but I'm actually going to share it with one of the kids, so I don't have quite as much. And I have just a little bit of uh, of uh, rum sauce with it, and that'll that'll be nice. So I'm not going to go overboard. I will have I don't usually drink, and I will have a little bit of uh, uh, I've got maybe some uh, fizz or something. I usually have some some champagne or something, a couple of bucks for that, like mimosa, mm, a couple of mimosas, a mimosa for breakfast, and a glass of champagne with Christmas dinner, so it's not overboard. And the week before that, um, the challenge is to do the triple seven challenge, which is um, seven non-sin drinks, um, a minimum of seven speed foods and a maximum of seven sins every day. So that whole week is going to be a really good week. And I'll do that for a few days after Christmas as well to try and really keep things in check. So anything I do go over won't be a big deal. I am determined not to jeopardize my weight loss this year. It's it's going to be good. And then heading into January, everyone goes into healthy mode anyway, don't they? New Year's resolutions. They all go into I will lose weight mode and everyone gets really motivated. New year, new start, you know, so that's that's going to be fine. But I want to hit that running this year. I don't want to be climbing a mountain to then go down the slope, you know. I, I want to really hit it running. Um, <clears throat> last week the challenge was to have, um, th this week past was the challenge was to have at least three SP days, which I did. Didn't make any difference for weight loss. Pound and a half, same as last week without the SP days. But there you go. <laughs> SP doesn't really do anything for me, I don't think. Um, this week the challenge was, is, um, oh yeah, to have, to up my speed content on my plates to 50%, which isn't going to be a big deal for me because I am pretty close to that anyway on any given day. To make sure that at every meal, is, is going to be, um, to actually focus on that will be good. But I do, I love my veg. I am trying to edge more towards veg instead of the fruit at the moment because I'm thinking that maybe too much fruit isn't going to be so good. I know I know it's all free and speeds food, but people's bodies react differently and I don't want to be the sugar the sugar high that you get from because fruit's still got loads of fructose in it and sugar in it, hasn't it? Natural sugar, but still sugar nonetheless. And so... I'm I'm trying to make the flip more to veg rather than fruit. But that's, I've already been cutting down on my fruit, so I am doing quite well that way as well. Um, so I'm feeling really good. This is feeling good. And I'm, I'm feeling a difference in myself now. I'm not seeing a difference in, like, I still got my bulgy bits. I'm horrible bulgy bits here, which I really... Mm. But um, I'm seeing a difference in my face, I think. And I'm feeling a lot happier in myself, which is a big, a big part of really keeping me right in the right place. So um, I'm looking forward to Christmas. It's going to be a fabulous festive season. Yeah. So uh, 
have a cracking Christmas. Uh, enjoy all your festivities. If you've got Christmas parties, remember, it's only one meal. It doesn't have to be all day. It doesn't have to be all weekend. It's one meal at a time. Keep to the plan the rest of it. You can do it. I know you can. I can. You can. We all can. And uh, I'm going to sign off now because I've been rambling for about 10 minutes. And that's that. So uh, keep being losers and have a great week. Bye.